First day out with the Babcock Taubman LC13. It's a early 30s home built and uh, I just love this design. I think it has classic golden age look to it. And this one here is 37 inches. Um, came in at around 82 grams. Needed another 12, 13, 14 grams of nose ballast. And I have two loops of uh, one quarter uh, by 40 inches in it. And this is the first filmed flight. I've started out at 200 and went up the ladder a little bit. Last flight at 420 looked pretty good, so I'm going to film this one at 480 and we'll see what we get. All right. Might have too much right thrust. Um, and maybe too much down thrust. I'm gonna play with that. I'm also gonna check out the CG, but uh, at least it's going in the right direction. It's, <laughs> I want it to fly right, right. All right, come back in a bit. This time I have, um, removed all the nose weight and I've backed off the right thrust and down thrust just a touch just a very little amount so let's see what this guy can do it's pretty nice right now dead calm all right here we go 540 turns Okay, it's her first circle. Not bad. Uh, hoping she gets a little bit more altitude. Maybe I can back off the down thrust a bit on that too. Just a touch. Or get rid of some of the nose weight. And, um, and there's also a little bit of up elevator I could do. So a couple choices here. Okay, 640 turns. I backed off down thrust and right thrust, just a tad. All right. Well, the right thrust was hurt. It hurt a bit by the right thrust. Um, maybe I could just keep it there, but add a little bit of wingtip weight or a gurney on the other side, and that'll help it, or just uh, tweak the rudder a tad, any little thing like that. But I like the attitude in the sky. It just felt pretty nice. Um, little nose up. That's okay, it's probably more stable that way. I could put a little nose weight on the front to help it, but um, okay, I'm gonna bump up to uh, over 700 this time. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Somewhere between seven and 800 turns. A little bit more right. 
rudder and a little bit of a wingtip clay. All right, pretty good. Uh, it's just not climbing very well, and I think it needs something to get that thing up, so I'm truly hoping it's not the rubber cross section, because I really don't want to go that far with it to load it up and then have short, bursty motors. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to wind it up another hundred on top of that and see where it goes. Okay, we're up to 940 turns. I uh, increased the elevator just a tad, and that's it. So, here we go. Okay, here we go again. Nope. Okay, it's the rudder. Okay, again I adjusted the thrust. I gave it less down thrust. Took off the wingtip weight. Adjusted a rudder. <laughs> and I'm up to 1,040, so we'll see what happens here. Okay, just short of it. Well, what I'm feeling is this bird just seems to be uh, underpowered. But, again, I'm not maxing out the wines, so let's just see. I mean, that was a really pretty flight. Just didn't climb very much. More than 50% wines for sure. So... Um, prop could be too big also. I don't want to put more cross section on her. Um, I'll just keep going up the ladder now. See what I can get. Might want to change the motor though. I'm a little spooked by seeing a couple little um, frayed areas. So, okay. This time we're going with 1,240. No changes.
Oh boy, caught some air. But it landed in the dirt and I think we're okay. Whew. I'm gonna probably switch to a new motor because I'm a little concerned that it's gonna snap on me, so. Um, maybe I'll give it a couple extra inches of length. I don't know. Okay. Okay, this is the new motor for the evening session. Um, it's two loops of quarter inch by 44 inches. And this time it's 1,080 turns. I'm trying to see if this bird is underpowered. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Here we go. Okay, we've got 1,400 turns on this one, so let's give it a ride. All right, final flight of the night, 1,640 turns. Pretty close to max.
Let's hope it's in there. Hope it's not in the drink. Wow. <laughs> oh man, that was so good. <laughs>